Welcome to the Cell Cycle Animation by Abhirami Archana Ranesh. Before we start, let's talk about the cell cycle and how it can be compared to a clock. The first step is interphase growth, since this is when more growth of the cell occurs here. Then there is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And these four steps together make up mitosis. Afterward, there is cytokinesis. Let's look more specifically at interphase. The first step is growth, where the cell gets bigger, bigger, and bigger. The next step is synthesis, where the cell's DNA divides. The third step is more growth of the cell. Of course, during interphase, the cell's organelles also split. Now let's look at mitosis. The first step in mitosis is prophase, where the messy DNA organizes itself into chromosomes and the nuclear membrane disappears. The next step is metaphase, where the chromosomes align themselves in the center. But what is a chromosome? A chromosome is a structure of two identical sister chromatids connected in the center by a centromere. But where were we? Oh right, metaphase. Before we go into the next step, there is an important organelle that we must note. It's the centriole. In the next step of anaphase, the centriole send out spindle fibers to connect to one of the two sister chromatids in a chromosome. The last step in mitosis is telophase, where the sister chromatids are pulled to their own sides by the spindle fibers. As it gets pulled apart, a cleavage furrow forms and the nuclear membranes of the two daughter cells start to reform. Once the cleavage furrow is wide enough, the daughter cells break apart in what is called cytokinesis. And there you have it, the cell cycle. Thank you very much.